Aware Group is a knowledge channel. Please subscribe. Request your friends to subscribe to share the knowledge. Public Day Message Greetings and best wishes from AWARE Group to every Indian across the world on occasion of 70th Republic Day of India. Republic Day is celebrated on 26th of January every year to mark the day Indian Constitution was enacted. It is a day to remember when India's Constitution came into force on January 26, 1950 completing the country's transition to becoming an independent republic. The written constitution was passed on 26 November 1949 in the Constituent Assembly and was adopted on 26 January 1950. 26th of January was selected because it was on this day in 1930 that the Declaration of Indian Independence was passed. India got independence from British rule in 1947 but it still followed the British constitution and acknowledged the British monarch as its head. From January 26, 1950, when India's constitution was enacted, India became a sovereign republic with its own president, not any more connected to the British monarchy. We must know about the history of Indian constitution. Many people believe that the Indian constitution was drafted by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar alone. It is not correct. On 29 August 1947, a drafting committee of the constitution was appointed with Dr. B. R. Ambedkar as the chairman and six other members. These members were K. M. Munshi, Alladi Krishnaswamy Iyer, N. Gopalaswamy Iyengar, B. L. Mitter, Muhammad Sadullah, and D. P. Khaitan. Later, B. L. Mitter was replaced by Madhav Rao, and on D. P. Khaitan's death, T. T. Krishnamachari was included in the drafting committee. Our constitution was drafted by seven members under the chairmanship of the drafting committee, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Sir Benegal Narsing Rao was the advisor to the Constituent Assembly. On Independence Day, our tricolor is unfurled by the Prime Minister representing the people. But on the Republic Day, our flag is unfurled by the President representing the government and the constitution. The Indian constitution was put together by the Constituent Assembly of India. The assembly had 299 members representing the many provinces and states of India. The Constituent Assembly met 11 times over 165 days between 1946 and 1949. The President of the Constituent Assembly was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Our constitution is the world's longest written constitution. In fact, Pandit Nehru, Rajendra Prasad and Sardar Patel wrote much of the constitution even before the Constituent Assembly was formed. To elaborate, the Nehru Committee in 1928 drafted a constitution. Sardar Patel was the head of the Committee for Fundamental Rights and Pandit Nehru wrote the preamble. Likewise, there were so many people involved in writing the world's lengthiest constitution, the Constitution of India. It was Nehru's idea to have intellectuals help write the Constitution of India. It took 2 years, 11 months and 18 days to write it and was finally signed by 284 members and thereafter by the President of the Constituent Assembly, Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Initially, it had 22 parts, 395 articles and 8 schedules. Some provisions came into effect on 26 November 1949 and others on 26 January 1950. It was Prem Bihari Narayan Raizada who calligraphed the constitution in a flowing italic style. The paintings were done by Nandlal Bose. 
the constitution declares india a sovereign socialist democratic republic assuring its citizens justice equality and liberty and endeavors to promote fraternity normally on occasion of republic day head of another country participate as our guest american president barack obama russian president vladimir putin were also guests during our republic day celebrations in the republic day parade we demonstrate our military power showing replicas of our weapons along with culture and development tableau displayed by each state the original hand written constitution was published in dehradun and photo lithographed at the offices of survey of india the original constitution of india is preserved in helium cases in the library of the parliament there are two original versions one in hindi and the other in english as of january 2019 there have been 124 amendment bills and 103 amendment acts to the constitution of india since it was first enacted in 1950 we are celebrating 70th republic day the indian parliament has two houses the lok sabha elected directly by the people and the rajya sabha elected by people's representatives the lok sabha has 545 seats while the rajya sabha has 245 members when india became independent the members of the constituent assembly comprised of patriots who fought for the independence when india adopted its constitution many intellectuals eminent personalities were included with the sole commitment of building up a new nation over the period of years we see less of statesmen while the increasing representation of business people industrialists caste leaders communalists is witnessed it is disturbing to see that the number of parliamentarians with criminal charges allegations of corruption and scams has increased over time as many as 186 parliamentarians from 2014 elections face criminal charges including for murder kidnapping and crimes against women bringing shame to the world's largest democracy however many of the political leaders defend themselves by claiming that the charges are false politically motivated and that they have not been convicted contesting elections has become very expensive it is an open secret that candidates spend in crores so where does this money come from and is this not leading to corruption manipulation and scams after 69 years of becoming a republic we find corrupt practices to capture power whether it is to become a ward member or a member of parliament in the 5 years tenure it is alleged that several people's representatives are busy recuperating many folds of what they spent on elections according to a report of a study lawmakers who were re-elected in 2014 saw their assets almost double in 5 years there is widespread concern that the country's electoral system is undermined by use of money and muscle power and there is an immediate need to effect electoral reforms to check the menace one of our prime ministers lamented there is however today widespread concern that our electoral system is being undermined by money power and muscle power the faith of people in democratic elections as the best system to select a government that could govern in the common interest is today being eroded as much by a sustained campaign to attack democratic institutions and elected representatives as by the increasing political corruption and the capture of political parties and elected office by vested interests sometimes it is disappointing and disturbing to see how our parliament is functioning hey no poster no poster should be no poster should be if, if this poster is there then i may have to take action please don't force me to do that law makers themselves become law breakers parliament sessions are wiped out on allegations and counter allegations unruly behavior personal attacks and high emotions is this what the founding fathers of our constitution imagined when they handed over 
one of the best and longest constitutions of the world look how our younger generation getting inspiration from parliamentary behavior today we'll have a political discussion on rural development bill those on my left will speak in favor of the motion and those on my right will speak against it and i want proper parliamentary behavior so let's start thank you professor since 1960 we are trying to pass the bill for the rural development and the structure of the bill is Republic Day is not any holiday. It is not for relaxation, enjoyment or entertainment. Many from the younger generation do not know the difference between Independence Day and Republic Day. On this day, every citizen must think, realize and review how our parliamentary democracy is functioning. Think deep, think for a solution. In about 3 months, we will again elect a new parliament. maybe in april 2019 the previous parliament elections in 2014 was the largest democratic electoral exercise the world has ever seen indian voters today have become silent spectators of democracy instead every indian voter must be a participant in our democracy in india full fledged political reforms supported by suitably revised constitutional support is urgently called for for this corrupt politicians are not going to take any initiative it is possible only if youth enter politics in large numbers drive away the corrupt politicians at all levels and tone up governance by educating and involving law abiding majority of indian citizens oh india it is the time now awake arise stop not until we find a solution on this republic day let us give ourselves the clarion call to become participants in democracy and not just mute spectators jai hind jai hind jai hind